Hey guys, this is Debbie with Best iPhone Game. Um, today I've got a new app I want to introduce you to. Now this is unlike anything I've done before. So, oops, wake up. So uh, this app is called Animation Desk for iPhone. And it is just basically that, just to help you be able to create hand-drawn animations on your iPhone or your iPad. So if you're really into drawing or painting or anything of that nature, you're really going to enjoy this app. It's a lot of fun. It has a lot of major benefits included in it. It has a beautiful interface. Um, it allows you to share all your stuff really easily on YouTube or Facebook or, you know, between your devices um, and just a lot of other stuff. Now, let's go ahead and for now, I'm going to open it up and show it to you. Now, right there, that picture you see of the beach. Now, that's one of many pictures that are actually included within the app for backgrounds. Now, you don't have to have that. You can just have a completely blank screen if you want, but that's just one I just chose to, to do a demo on, and it's very uh, basic and generic, and there's not much to it, and I'll show it to you in just a minute. But basically, all I did was I added snow at the beach, so, you know, woohoo. Uh, but basically, you can go ahead and you can see. You can see the snow falling. So, you know, like I said, it's very basic, but at least you can kind of get an idea. And I, I did that in just, just a, a couple of seconds. But if you want to, you can choose any of those different backgrounds. And you can, uh, using all the various tools that are included in this app, you can draw anything. It's just all up to you. So let's go ahead for now and just, just stop that. Um, what I will show you are a lot of the things that are included in this, a lot of the tools. Um, for one thing, right up here in the very top, these are all your paints, so you can choose your colors. So all you have to do is just tap on them to use them. So if you see a color you like, just tap on it and choose it, and then you're good to go. If you want to change the opacity, you can change that right there with that setting here. If you want to actually change the size of your brush, you can change that there. If you want to choose different brushes, you've got like, you know, paint can to fill up a big humongous area or a big fat wide brush, you know, much narrower pointed. You've even got like a crayon, a pencil, and so forth, okay? Tools here, um, you can clear frames, you can delete them, you can add frames, you can duplicate, you know, redo and undo, all that's included there. Here at the bottom, if you see this right there, tap that you can work on your middle ground so you've got different areas to work with you can also work on the foreground so that's all up to you you know so you can change back and forth between uh, the foreground and the middle ground so you've got different layers to work with if you tap here you can see that you can you have a few other things to choose from for one thing uh, backgrounds and see like you can tell this is the one I chose with the beach but you've got different ones you can choose just by touching them if you tap here, you can um, have, you know, you have uh, the ability to manage how you're going to transfer things between your devices and stuff like that. If you tap here, you can go ahead and log into your YouTube account and be able to manage uh, your animations that you've done and, you know, send them to YouTube and share them with other people if you want. But here's where your, your files are, are that you've created are located right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this one back up. Okay, what else? Um, if you tap here, you can actually see the individual frames. And another thing I really want to point out before I forget, you can also add sound. So if you tap here, you can record your sound and add sound to your, uh, your animation that you worked on. So that's another big plus. So it doesn't just have to be silent. You can add sound to it. If you tap up here on the question mark, it has very easy to read and very easy to understand uh, directions to kind of give you some more information about how to use this. Okay. If we tap here, we have onion skins that we can choose from, so different ones of those, um, and all that's included. And if you're in, in animation especially, you know all about onion skin. So if you want to tap here, you've got a stamp tool. And the stamp tool allows you to add different shapes or insert pictures and copy and paste from different areas real easy. Okay. So all that's included. Now, once you get started on this, you can create something just absolutely as beautiful as what's what I've done here with the snow at the beach. <laughs> or maybe even something 
more exciting. Now, one thing this company does, the company that actually made this app, they have a, um, a competition where they actually allow users to uh, submit their own um, animations that they've done and try to win prizes. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you one in particular. And this is, again, created with this same software. So let's go over here to my computer so you can see it. And it's going to pull it up. And again, this software was, or this animation was created with this app, Animation Disk for iPhone. Very cool. So there you have it. So if you're into drawing or painting or anything creative and you like working with your hands, you like you like tinkering, you like trying out new things, I would definitely give this a shot because this is just the coolest thing I've played with in a long time and I hope to play with it some more and get even better at it. Again, it's called Animation Desk for iPhone. I highly encourage you to go out and get it for yourself today and play with it. Uh, pass it along to your kids and uh, other people and just let them try it and I think they will really really enjoy it and I'd love to see some of the things they come up with and I'm sure the uh, developers of this software would love to see that too just to see what kind of things they can come up with so again animation just for iPhone go out and get it for yourself today you guys have a great day thanks a lot